I'm Dave Ford. In this screencast I'm going to show how we can drag and drop a folder containing files quickly and easily into Blackboard. So the end product would look like this. Here I've got an area within Blackboard and if I click on this item here what I then get is the files that I want linked to just listed as this and then I can even have folders within that which themselves link to um, different files. Now pedagogically I don't like to encourage too much of this because it ends up just using Blackboard as a dumping ground for files. But if I've got a situation where I do want to get lots of files to the learners quickly, let's say I've got worksheets um, or lots of PDF files, uh, something or lots of images, then this technique could have a use. So what we're going to do, first of all, what we need to do is in the control panel, I go to files, and I click on this side arrow, and uh, here's an area where I can uh, add files and what have you and I'm going to go to upload and upload files. What I can then do is I've got the ability to drag and drop things into this area. So here's my folder containing the various files I'm going to upload. So some Word files, PowerPoint files and then there's a folder containing other files. I'm just going to go up one level and this is the folder here containing everything that I want. I just drag it across and I drop it into here. I'll minimize that down and I click on submit. So we let Blackboard do its stuff, there it is uploading all the files and it's created this new area here at the bottom and here's today's date, it's just been added. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to go back to my study materials, I'm going to go into the folder where I want to add it and then I'm going to build, an I, uh, build content and create a file. Now I'm going to first of all give it a name, so put the name in here and then I'm going to browse module files and what it will allow me to do is choose the files that I've just uploaded. Now I could go into the folder and choose the files individually but what I'm going to do here is just select next to the folder and click on submit and that will actually select the whole folder. I've then got various other options about opening new windows and the tracking uh, etc which you're probably familiar with and I'll just bring the screen up slightly uh, and then I'm going to submit and there we see uh, the area that I've added, click on that and you can see here the files that uh, have just been added in and the students will get a very similar view, they get slightly less than this but it's very very similar and um, what you'll also notice is that students can then download the files en masse so again if you've got lots of files you want them to have uh, they can then download them uh, very quickly and easily we have to remember though that it, there's no organisation or structure or order to these um, so we have to make sure that the files are sensibly named uh, so the students will understand them and we don't want to use this for all of the use of Blackboard because otherwise it will just become a very um, disorganised dumping ground of files but for small uses carefully thought out then that can be very very powerful